and what's going on girls and guys it's your boy GTX Tyson I'm here to bring you some very quick tips for the engineer There's still a bit of time to get one leveled up the useful thing about leveling up the engineer is there is a really good perk if you are going to try the advanced battle frame such as Electron or Bastion level 30 perk which is mounted firepower which increases the damage of your deployables by 25% so it would really help out for you guys that are playing as the Bastion, they're using turrets at the moment, which would be great. So uh, yeah, the Engineer does have a very good amount of really cool skills. The only thing is, it's getting your way to those skills as you're progressing your way to level 30. Now, my advice to you would be to make the Rocket Turret. Now the rocket turret is really really great because it shoots rockets to begin with and then as it develops it starts firing rockets and firing bullets as well so it's really great. Uh, the rocket turret uh, just on the 5.4 wiki uh, the cooldown is 60 seconds duration 120 but that's the stock rocket turret uh, basically you can get your first one at level 12 from Cerrado Plains which is in the Coral Forest and there's Shantytown level 22 so you can get the level 12 one and the level 22 one which is great uh, they're the blueprint so you'd have to craft that and to craft it uh, battle frame engineer heavy turret rocket turret uh, the level 22 one which I've got really easy to make uh, for the standard one even the rare one is really easy to make twinned muscle fibers you've got to be able to make them <laughs> all you need for the twin muscle fibers is just usual stuff that you're picking up when you're uh, taking out bandits and things like that so charge pulse generator I've just dropped one down basically what this skill does is it will charge up and then it will send out a pulse and that will damage enemies in a uh, in a fixed radius now I just lost it so it's best to put the charge pulse generator somewhere where the enemies aren't going to be in the line of fire but if you do actually hide near it or you or you actually drop it or lead enemies towards it you're actually going to create a really effective trap it's going to do some great damage so so the charge pulse generator is a lifesaver my top skills for the engineer right now the rocket turret the uh, the pulse generator absolutely the pulse generator and another skill I'd use quite a lot is a supply station as well uh, try and get one where you can add quite a few deployables on there and if you can try and get one with great potency go for it the better the potency the more you'll benefit from it all right so that's my uh, that's that's my quick tips to making a really really capable engineer other bit of advice I could give you is if you can research into creating your own weapons if you can make a secondary grenade launcher with tri scatter or quad scatter that will really help you out because you'll be able to have more AoE potential and cause more damage as a whole compared to just using one grenade uh, you know for your grenade launcher I find the tri scatter really brilliant and I don't know how I would have coped without it. A quad scatter would be nice, but again, um, craft whatever you can just to kind of help yourself out with this. Um, my rocket turret is a Blitz rocket turret. Blitz is great because it, it improves the recharge and potency. So I can literally, if you make a Blitz rocket turret to begin with, you will be able to drop turrets down really quickly, get deployment modules in there so you can drop more than one turret down in a good space of time. It'll save you so much hassle as well. So there you are. So this is the level 40 engineer perk, which is the hyperkinesis surge. When HKM is activated, the user gains 130% speed boost and a 50% defensive boost. So 
pretty much with that, when you've got that perk on your character and you use your HKM, you're going to be a lot more boss than without this perk. So really, really cool. Uh, depends on what kind of HKM you've got. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's been quick and informal for why you're leveling up your engineer this weekend or whatever. Thanks for watching and if I missed anything out, leave it in the comments box so people in the future that are watching this video will actually learn and benefit from it. Thanks a lot guys. Thought I'd throw this one in. Cheers.